Is flex glue really the best? Also, is JB Weld better than flex glue? Both of them claiming to be superior products. Just for testing purposes, we want to expand the competition a little bit and throw in some Gorilla and Loctite. So this will be very interesting. So let's get the testing underway and see which one of these products is really the best. So I get nearly all my video ideas from viewers, and this one comes from a few people, which is to use flex glue to hold a cylinder head in place. Is flex glue strong enough to hold a head on an engine block when the engine is running? So what I'm going to do is apply flex glue to this cylinder head, bolt it in place till it is fully cured, remove the head bolts, and see how long the engine will run. I'm also going to do the exact same thing with JB Weld, and we'll see which of these products works the best. So Gorilla works on metal, glass, fabric, wood, ceramic, leather, paper, plastic, and more. It's also 100% waterproof with a permanent bond. Holds in just seconds. So Loctite works on wood, OSB, drywall, brick, concrete, masonry, stone, marble, granite, metal, vinyl, PVC, and foam insulation. So JB Weld works on metal, plastic and PVC, wood, concrete, ceramic, tile, and a whole lot of other applications. So what can Flex Glue do for you? It can work with home and garden, automotive, and marine. Additionally, it works for boats, RVs, trailers, maintenance, repairs, construction, plumbing, electrical, do-it-yourself projects, hobbies, and so much more. So while Flex Glue cures in 24 to 48 hours, it is the slowest curing of all of them and requires a full week to fully cure. So it's been seven days. Let's get the testing underway. I'm going to start off testing with Gorilla, then Loctite, JB Weld, and finally with Flex. I'm going to go ahead and lay this on top of our cinder blocks and begin adding weights and we'll see how much weight it'll take before it fails. Two and a half pounds. Adding five more pounds for a total of seven and a half pounds. The Gorilla product seems to have a very rubbery texture, very much like a spray adhesive. Up next is Loctite. 17 and a half pounds. So I really like Loctite a lot. When it cures, it gets really hard and it seems to be a very strong product. Okay, testing JB Weld. All right, this is getting crazy. I'm about to run out of weights here. This has got to fail soon. Good grief. Man, I'm out of weights. 
I did not anticipate needing this much weight. I'm about to go find some more weights. well over a hundred pounds. Huh? Now that's a lot of damage. And look, the brick broke, not the actual glue. This thing broke the brick. Maybe it broke right here, I'm not sure, but all I know is it destroyed the brick. So can flex glue beat JB Weld? That is the question we're about to find out. Unfortunately, Flex did not beat JB Weld and it did not beat Loctite. It did, however, beat Gorilla. So once this stuff cures, it seems very similar to Loctite. So this board is 48 inches in length total. This represents the middle point or the two foot mark, 24 inches. So what I'm gonna do now is add weight until the board breaks. Okay, Gorilla failed at five pounds. Unfortunately, Gorilla just did not seem to stick to the wood very well. It is designed to work with wood though, so I'm really disappointed that it didn't do a better job. Loctite failed at 72 and a half pounds. Very impressive performance. So Loctite does an extremely good job sticking to the wood. I'm really impressed with this product. It showed a lot of structural integrity. Okay, JB Weld failed at 57 and a half pounds. Very impressive performance. JB Weld did a very good job of actually sticking to the board on both pieces. Very impressive performance by Flex tying JB Weld at 57 and a half pounds. I have to admit, I'm really impressed with this product as well as Loctite and JB Weld. All three did a great job sticking to wood. The total length of this pipe is 48 inches and the break in the pipe is at the four inch mark. So what we're gonna do is add weight on a chain and slide it out one inch at a time until the pipe breaks at the cut in the pipe. We've got a total of 10 pounds and we'll see how far we can go. Loctite filled at 29 inches. Okay, JB Well. We'll come back to JB Weld in a minute, but first let's see if Flex can handle 10 pounds all the way out to the very end. Okay, flex failed at 16 inches. I'm gonna continue the JB Weld, this time doubling the weight to 20 pounds. It's hard to believe the JB Weld is still holding on, so we're gonna go ahead and make it 30 pounds and continue the test. JB Weld made it all the way out to the end with 30 pounds. Unbelievable. This next test is really gonna put each one of these products to the test, beginning with how much weight does it take to snap off each one of these bolts. We're gonna be doing that twice. The next test will be actually measuring how much impact each one of these bolts can take. They're gonna apply a twisting force to the last two bolts to see how much force it takes to break each one of these free.
For the first test, we'll be using a weight scale on the first two bolts to see how much downward force it takes for each one of these bolts to release. We'll be starting off with Gorilla. Unfortunately, it didn't take any weight for the first bolt to fail. Up next is Loctite. Okay, Loctite failed at 0.4. Okay, we'll be testing JB Weld next. Okay, 28 pounds for JB Weld. Hey, let's see how flex glue does. The purpose of this next test is to determine how well each of these products can withstand an impact. I will place the wrench so that it's touching the bottom side of the bolt. I will then release the wrench so it falls and makes impact with the bolt. We're going to use a 14 millimeter wrench and we're going to drop it 10 times and if it can take it, we'll go up to a 15 millimeter and we'll keep increasing the size of the wrench until each bolt breaks free. One and five sixteenths. Up next, we're going to measure how many inch-pounds of torque it takes to break free this bolt. It broke free at zero inch-pounds of torque. Okay, it broke free at zero inch-pounds of torque again. Okay, Loctite. Okay, Loctite broke free at zero inch-pounds of torque. Okay, JB Weld. Okay, we're at 144, I had to reposition the wrench. <clears throat> JB Weld broke loose at 207 inch-pounds of torque. <clears throat> JB Weld is showing 201 inch-pounds of torque for the second bolt. Flex! Okay, flex broke at zero inch pounds. Okay, zero inch pounds of torque. So this is the test I've been looking forward to all week long as this product has been curing. This is the JB Weld engine. So what I'm going to do now is move all the head bolts and we're going to fire this engine up and see how long it'll run without the head bolts installed. Okay, there's nothing holding this head on except for the JB Weld. Let's see how long this engine will run. Now that's a lot of damage. All right, does not look like the JB Well did very well. Now that's a lot of damage. 
I've used JB Weld a lot and it continues to amaze me. It is just an amazing product. Now some people argue it's a two-part system and it really shouldn't be in the same category or competition as these one-part products. I guess the counter argument to that is it is a two-part system, but when you have a repair to be made, you probably don't care if it's a one-part system or two-part system. You just want to fix it and forget about it. And that's why I included JB Weld in this showdown. Now for some applications, obviously JB Weld is not a good choice. Any application where you need a lot of flexibility, you can be better off with Loctite or with Flex. I do not recommend Gorilla though. Unfortunately, while I'm a big fan of most Gorilla products, I can't recommend this product because it failed to impress. Finishing dead last and just not really performing well at all. Now I hope someone from Gorilla is watching because I really like their brand. I think their Gorilla Tape is amazing and they have several other products I've used that I highly recommend as well. So in this past year, we've had a lot of great videos and every single one of those ideas came from you guys. I read your comments and I reply to as many of your comments as possible. In the next year, I'm hoping you guys will continue to give me some more video ideas. So please keep those video ideas coming and I'll keep making videos. Please take care and I look forward to next time.